Hello, welcome to the video how to configure single sign-on with Microsoft Azure Active Directory. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate Salesforce with Azure Active Directory. With this, you can control in Azure Active Directory who has access to Salesforce. Enable your users to be automatically signed into Salesforce with their Azure Active Directory accounts and manage your accounts in one central location, the Azure portal. The first thing you need to do is log into your Microsoft Azure portal. Expand the menu option and click Azure Active Directory. For this testing, I'm going to create a new directory. I'm going to select Azure Active Directory and click on Nets. Give it a name to the organization and initial domain. Click on Nets and finally click on Create. Once the directory is created, I'm going back to the Home button. I'm going to switch back to that directory by clicking on this option. Select the one that I just created here. Now, let's go to Enterprise Applications. Click on New Application option and in the list, search for Salesforce. Select Salesforce either for production or for samples and click on Add. As you notice, the application has been added successfully. Under Manage, click on Single Sign-On option. Select SAML method. And let's configure the first step by clicking the Edit button. Populate the Entity ID, Reply URL, and the Sign-On URL with your My Domain. And click on Save. On the step number 2, click on Edit. In the unique user identifier, I'm going to change the value to be the user mail, so this value will be the one that is going to authenticate with Salesforce. Click on Save. Scroll down to the step 3 and download the certificate that we'll use in Salesforce shortly. The step 4 is optional and now it's time to set up the configuration in Salesforce. Login as an administrator in Salesforce. Go to Setup. And I recommend you to set up your My Domain before to continue with the single sign-on settings. You can go here and specify our My Domain. In my case, it's already enabled, so I'm going back to Setup and search for single sign-on settings. Click on Edit and select SAML Enabled. On the Below section, click on the New button. Give it a name to this single sign-on setting. and the Entity ID field, put your My Domain. Let's go back to Azure Portal. Expand the configuration URL in the step number 5 and copy the login URL. Paste it in the Identity Provider Login URL, Azure AD Identifier, paste it in the Azure field, and finally, Logout URL, copy and paste it in the Custom Logout URL field. Now, in the SAML Identity Type, we need to select the assertion contains the Federation ID from the user object. In this case, we're going to make Salesforce to check the Federation ID field in the user object in order to authenticate with the email that we are sending from Azure. The last step is to choose the Identity Provider Certificate that we download in a previous Azure step. Now, save the changes. Once the single sign-on configuration is done, Let's go back to the My Domain in the Setup. Click on Edit next to the Authentication Configuration and enable your single sign-on configuration as an authentication service. Before to test it out this single sign-on configuration, I'm going to Users, open my user account and click on Edit. 
As you can see, this is the Federation ID field. I need to have my Microsoft email in order to authenticate the login. I'm going back to Azure, Users and Groups, and provide access to my user account. Select the corresponding role and click on Assign button. Once that I provide access to the Salesforce application, I'm going to copy my email address and populate it in the Federation ID in Salesforce. Save the changes and let's see how this is working. I'm going to log out from my current session. And in my domain, you'll notice I have this option below. Click on it. Type my Microsoft Azure account and the Azure password. As you can see, I was able to log into Salesforce by using my Microsoft Azure credentials. This concludes the video how to configure single sign-in with Microsoft Azure Active Directory. Thank you for watching.